published 1936 EDT, the 22nd of October 2017 updated 0312 EDT, the 23rd of October 2017 all eyes were on Lewis Hamilton to see if he could land his fourth world championship, but despite triumphing in the United States Grand Prix the driver's title rolls on to Mexico next week. Sebastian Vettel's second place was enough to delay Hamilton's coronation for now but there was enough happening elsewhere out of the glare of the title hunt a sports mail looks at the six things you missed from the circuit of the Americas. Michael Buffer is flanked by cheerleaders as he makes his way onto the starting grid in Texas Michael Buffer helps provide big fight atmosphere of title race in F1 has come down to a head-to-head -head battle between Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel. So who better to bring both drivers onto the grid than legendary boxing announcer Michael Buffer? Buffer also helped introduce the other 18 drivers in a unique 15-minute segment before the race. There was no knockout blow landed on the German by Hamilton but heading to Mexico the Ferrari star is very much on the ropes. Josh Verstappen hit out at the FIA after his son Max was denied a podium finish in Austin. Josh Verstappen hits out at FIA after Max's lost podium plenty connected with Red Bull were left fuming after Max Verstappen was hit with a five-second penalty after the race for an illegal pass on Kimi Raikkonen. The Dutchman's final lap move looked to have earned a podium at the Ferrari driver's expense. But the FIA's decision to penalize Verstappen after the race led to a very angry response from his father Yosh who posted a Twitter image portraying the governing body as Ferrari international assistants as well as saying this is B. Sorry, this sucks. Shame on you FIA. Obviously F1 don't know what racing is. Only Max gets a penalty when he crosses the line, nobody else the whole weekend. Hamilton celebrates victory, with the color pink on show to promote breast cancer awareness the usually purple branded Ultra Soft was changed to pink for the United States Grand Prix Pretty kick and pink there was a slight color change to Formula One this weekend, with the champagne bottles, podium caps and even the Ultra Soft tires being given a pink makeover. It's all in aid to promote breast cancer awareness, Esteban Acon set a new Formula One record for most consecutive finishes from Debu Acon's fine drive to sixth sees him set new record Esteban Acon produced a fine race to hold off Carlos Sainz late on and take a crucial seventh place for Force India, and with it the Frenchman set a new record that of the most consecutive F1 race finishers for a driver at the start of their career. It was his 26th finish beating the record set by Britain's Max Chilton back in 2014. The World Drivers' Championship trophy stands between Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton. The lesser-spotted Drivers' Championship trophy makes an appearance when have you ever seen a Formula One World Champion stand alongside the Drivers' Championship trophy in his race suit? In fact when do you ever see the trophy at a race? Well it made an appearance in Austin, and was fittingly placed pre-race between Hamilton and Vettel on the grid. Will we see it again next week in Mexico? Usain Bolt and Bill Clinton were the main stars in attendance for the race in Austin. Texas Olympic champion and a former president dominate famous face Usain Bolt may have had held much of the spotlight having started the race, waved the checkered flag, conducted the podium interviews and even toured the circuit with Hamilton. But even the Jamaican star power was perhaps eclipsed as Sauber's VIP guest was none other than the 42nd president of the United States Bill Clinton, who was also present on the podium to hand out trophies.